Hello, I'm Tiny Pirate. Welcome to Two Minute Mods. In today's episode, we look at the Kerbal Historical Institute's original parts mod. This was originally maintained by Fiddlesticks, but after he went inactive for a while, it's been picked up and maintained by Blank Def. The original parts mod reintroduces a number of parts that are no longer part of the default Kerbal Space Program install. If you played Kerbal Space Program a couple of years ago, you're bound to remember these parts. They were invariably really wobbly, there were parts that existed before struts were available, and you always ended up relying on these terrible tri-stack parts that made everything just, well, it, yeah, pretty much like what you're seeing now, a total wobbly mess. Overcoming the wobbly rocket syndrome was quite an amusing challenge in and of itself, and as you can see, I'm using the old parts again and totally failing to pull this off. Probably should have thrown some struts on things. Almost certainly should have thrown some more of the old school reaction wheels on there, but never mind. It's entertaining to watch me crash and explode, isn't it? In addition to the old tricouplers, the Kerbal Historical Parts mod introduces the old fuel tanks, engines, plane parts, landing legs, and command pods. If you feel like a trip down memory lane, go grab the original parts mod from CCAN and see if you can rebuild some of your favorite rockets of yore. I bet you'll find it pretty challenging if you restrict yourself to the parts that were available back then. I know I certainly have. I've been Tiny Pirate, this has been Two Minute Mods. Catch you in the next episode.